Welcome back, viewers, and joining us on this broadcast at this hour, our doctor Ashish Sahani, who is an assistant professor of Center for Biomedical Engineering, IIT Roper, as well as Dr. Vivek Gupta, who is from the Hero DMC Heart Institute, and in fact, the specialty of these two gentlemen who have worked on a containment box to protect our healthcare workers. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us here on Republic TV. We'll go across uh, to Dr. Ashish Sahani first. This is a very unique kind of containment box that you have, in fact, uh, come up with. If you can take our viewers to the details of the same and how will this really protect or help our healthcare workers who are, in fact, fighting on the front line of this COVID pandemic. Yes, sir. Dr. Sahani, if you can hear me, uh, the first question was for you, Dr. Ashish Sahani, who's an assistant professor at the Center for Biomedical Engineering. Your first question for me is, uh, uh, it, what, how will this really help, this containment box that you have come up with? How will this help our healthcare workers who are working uh, against this COVID pandemic? Right. Do you uh, want me to answer this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what happens is many of these patients you are speaking with hospitals, uh, they have a lot of pleasing and uh, in the uh, in the process they generate a lot of cortisol, which can affect the healthcare workers which are who are close by, and uh, so major transmission of virus. Uh, you know, the healthcare workers is through respiratory route. So, for that, we have made this box. Uh, Dr. Gupta has really uh, Hard in making the box first, so it is made out of very cheap materials, uh, out of wood and uh, PVC sheet, Velcro, and very simple pasting and uh, and fixing materials. And this box, uh, then he contacted me that how can uh, we improve it? Then I told that uh, maybe we can add negative pressure, which will remove the aerosol particles from the patient and not allow those particles to affect the nearby uh, healthcare workers. Although nearby healthcare workers are supposed to be using their PPEs. Uh, so then I suggested to use a negative pressure which is already available in the hospital. So we added the negative pressure, uh, used the negative pressure uh, line and we connected it to the uh, uh, wall supply of negative pressure. So Dr. Gupta may add uh, you know, more details on this. Right. Uh, in fact, we go across uh, to Dr. Gupta now. So, Dr. Gupta, how critical is this equipment against this fight against COVID-19, especially at a time when many of our frontline warriors are also testing positive for COVID? Yeah, this is what actually was the initial thought came in my mind that if you what happens uh, in ICU atmosphere, there is a very high viral load. And with this high viral load, there's a lot of uh, healthcare workers are getting affected. If you look at the global data, a lot of healthcare workers are getting affected with the COVID-19 and they are really uh, not doing very well because of the high viral load, in spite of having a complete PPE. And in our situation, in our Indian circumstances, where we have the limited resources in spite of lot of efforts, so we thought that we will develop something which is very cheap and which is with the available resources. So this is what the first thought we had and I started with a box which can be kept uh, on the patient bed and even patient can sit comfortably with this box on without any uh, discomfort or claustrophobia or with the suffocation. So then later I thought that we can improvise because uh, uh, we do a lot of procedure in intensive care unit like uh, putting a on oxygen, non-invasive ventilation or even we intubate and put the patient on ventilator. So in those situations, the box should be in a manner that we can quickly adopt uh, these procedures, we can perform these procedures. And this is how we develop this box. I'll just show you the box very shortly. And then uh, uh, Dr. Sani came up with an idea that uh, we can put a negative pressure in that. And with the same small connector, we connected with the central suction after confirming that there is no risk to the central suction supply with the infection. When we confirmed it, we connected it. And we showed it with the different right. test that there is a good amount of negative suction there. Okay? 
In fact, uh, we also go cross touch to Dr. Sahani again. Dr. Sahani, has this box been put to use and what has been the effectiveness of this box so far also? Have you been approached by the ICMR or any of the government authorities or perhaps taking this idea just beyond one or two cities so far? So this box has been tested by uh, us. I had uh, given uh, some uh, you know guidance uh, to Dr. Uh, Vivek how to test it. So we created some incense, uh, 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 incense smoke, and then we uh, put it inside the box, and we looked at how much is the how what is the performance of this box in terms of removing the incense out of the box. So this is a device which is in addition to the PPE uh, protection. Which will be used by, which can be used by doctors for additional layer of protection, and uh, we are planning to pitch this to more government agencies. But as the box is of a very simple nature, the way we have designed it is so that uh, because the current supply chain is broken, because most of the hospitals are not able to get whatever they want because the supply chains are broken. So can we make something which hospitals can themselves make very easily uh, with their available manpower and resources? And uh, so this box is designed around that very cheap uh, within 500 rupees anybody can make it and the uh, uh, negative pressure supply we because uh, most of these COVID patients are supposed to be put in negative pressure rooms and most of our hospitals don't have many negative pressure rooms most of them don't have it some of them have one or two so uh, and making them are very expensive so this way we can create a very simple box which will only you know contain the viral load of the patient. Okay, uh, another question for Dr. Gupta. Now, Dr. Gupta, as Dr. Sani was saying that it is a bit cheaper monetarily if we talk about it, but how difficult or easy is it to produce this box and what are the other agencies you are really pitching uh, this idea or this box to now? Uh, great. So, basically, it's very cheap. So we initiated with the material during the lockdown days when we did not have access to anything to get. So, we started with a very small, with a wood, uh, we use the wood to make the frame and 30 uh, mm PVC just to make a closed box mm -hmm. and Velcro to make it open from our side so that we can perform the procedures. So it is very simple and along with that what we have added some ties so that it can be fixed with a bed, adjustable ties so that it can be fixed with a bed and patient can sit comfortably and it will not fall on the patient. So it is hardly, as Dr. Sani said, it's very cheap and for the connector, what we have connected, it's simple, which is available routinely in the hospital. So none of the things actually we bought from outside. It is only all the material which is available in the hospital and we made a frame. According, we improvised it gradually and then finally we reached to with these dimensions and uh, with these criteria. So it's very simple to make. Any hospital can make with the whatever available resources are there. All right. Thank you so much, for Dr. Sahani and Dr. Gupta, for joining us here on Republic TV. We do hope uh, that this uh, new box that you have come up with for our health and care workers can be implemented very soon in our health care workers as well as hospitals. Thank you. Thank you very much.